Hello! So once again, I have flown back from Thailand just to go to Guru Larry's house. It's costing a fortune, wasn't it? It really yeah. is. Like, I'm doing it so regular now. It's like... Mate. That is good. Well, at least, well, at least it's coming out of taxpayers' money. Does it, no, no, it's not, it's not taxpayer. This is all my Patreon money. What do you think <laughs> I use it for? Yeah. <laughs> I use it to go on holidays. Yeah, we go on holidays and not talking to you unless you're a paid Patreon subscriber. Oh, we just upset a ghost. Dan, did you hear that? So, yes, yeah, so that's the god that must be Spoony there. there. <laughs> upset Spoony. Oh. Anyhow. Is, uh, is Spoony dead? He is alive. Oh, okay. Because he, all he does, uh, he goes on Twitter and moans about Trump and wrestling. Okay. So, there you go. Anyhow, today uh, we've got a mystery package, haven't we? Unless you've written it in I the genuinely don't know what's in this. It will probably be in the annotation, so you'll know. It will know, be, so yeah, it's going to be completely ruined now. Yeah, but I so, don't know. So. This is uh, something I pretty much guarantee you haven't seen before. Okay. Uh, so let's open it up, shall we? Uh, let's have a look. This is something, actually. Uh, actually, do you want to close your eyes when I'll set it up for you? Okay. So, is there time in front of the camera? Yes. You okay. have to pretend to be blind, you know, a blind I'm going to pretend to be David's blanket for a moment. <laughs> well, don't get. Maybe not with a prostitute. There you go. This is one bit. Yeah. This is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is it, ladies. So there you go. This is it. So it does look weird. Let's have a look. Let's see what Mr. Top Hat thinks. There you go. Open your eyes. What do you think that is? Right. It says it's Sony. Yes. So is it some sort of PlayStation development kit? It might be. Oh, yeah. Development tool. It says down here. Yes. Development tool. And uh, here's the extra bit that will give it all away. Ah. It's a, it's a PSP with its umbilical cord still attached. It is. So, so you plug this into here, like. So. so is this this is the PSP's mother, I assume. Basically, this is a development system, so you can make and test games on it. But uh, you don't have to wait for them to be burned onto UMDs. You can actually play them on DVD or uh, on CD. Is it CD or DVD? DVD, it's a DVD, so you can play them on DVD. There's no way of linking this up to a monitor, is there? Uh, there is. Really? It's, uh, yes, it's a... S <sighs> what's that, Wayne? What's that, what's that port? Uh, uh, PC, it's a PC monitor, but I can't remember what it's called. Port, uh, oh, VGA. It's so VGA. does this it's mean that I could play, for example, Crisis Core on a television? You could do, yes. That would be amazing. Well, it, uh, the second generation of PSPs, you can do it anyway. But can you? Yes, really? It's got a TV output, yeah. For more you know. See, I I didn't I genuinely didn't know that and I can play my PSP on the television anyway. Oh, the second generation you so, can, not the first one. So what is that? The this ones is, that look like this still or the PSP Go? Is that uh, I don't know how you can tell the difference. They look completely different, but, but basically from what I know with the PSPs, they've got different serial numbers on the back. Obviously not yeah. this one because this is a development one, but yeah, they've got different serial numbers, hmm. so yeah, I need to research that because I would like to play PSP on a television. Oh, okay. Well, this would be one of them, but they get the second generation. But this is a development system and you can also play it wirelessly as well, look. Ah. So you can also play Link Up with somebody who's got a regular one. But yes, this is also if people are making games and like they go over the memory the RAM and that. So if you play it on a system like this, basically this is a PSP Pro. Think of it like that, where it's a super powered PSP that won't crash if your game you're making doesn't work right. So, this is an odd question. Do you think it can be hacked the same way PSP can? can it can. It can, yes. Because that's... Uh, but that's been... you don't need to hack it because it's multi-region. You can play anything on it. So, you could just, just back you, it out with loads of um, you could PS1 games or one or two. You could do. You could download ROMs off the internet, put them on DVD and play them like that. I think you might need to mod them, but somebody's released a, a program to mod them. Whilst you're on the subject of the PSP, yes. um, do you, do, do, I assume yours is hacked. You got a hacked uh, one? Yeah, <laughs> you bought, I, I bought a tool battery. Okay. Yeah, which, which basically turns it into safe mode, and then you can hack it from there. So you can download like a custom firmware. Do you like uh, the PSP as a handheld? Uh, it's all right. I mean, it was a fan, it's probably the best ever handheld system for playing modded that's games. Yeah, that's, it, that's its, that's its decades, purpose in 2017, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, the only thing, I mean, it's probably being supposed by that JXD thing. Like that. 
I used to agree with you, but after oh. playing them both a lot, I don't like the buttons on the JXD as much as I like no, them a bit on the cheapy. Yeah, yeah, the buttons feel so much nicer on um, a PSP. Um, but with, with regards to the actual real PSP library, um, yeah. I felt that a lot of the games took forever to load, and that's just really inconvenient as a handheld because as a handheld, yeah. you want it, it's the whole point well, to I pick up and play. That's well. In all fairness, Sony brought it out a disc operating system for that because the memory unit wasn't there at the time. The memory capacity wasn't big enough, unless you were prepared to pay two hundred pounds for a game each time. Uh, but I mean, it did eat the batteries. I know tomorrow. Yeah. And that's a spinning thing, and also it's moving. That's parts. the thing with with handhelds overall. I feel like companies are constantly trying to um, run before they can walk like they keep making these overpower like handhelds have got history of being overpowered and failing you've got well, the game gear the nomad mm. um, well the game gear was just a handheld master system really yeah this is a handheld well it's not as powerful as a playstation 2 uh, it's like a super penis <coughs> one really playstation portable yes yeah, definitely it's an intro it, it, it's, it's like i said it reminds me of a newborn baby. Yes. So it's definitely nice. Exactly. Whilst we're on the subject of handhelds, quickly. Um, yes. Hello. Are you looking forward to the Switch? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm looking forward to playing Zelda on it and probably nothing else. Yes. I fear, though, like I said, the overpowered handhelds, they've not got a good history, have they? But what? at the same time, Nintendo have got a near perfect handheld history. Yes. So it could literally go 50 50, in my opinion. I know, but they've got a lot of competition from my phones now. That's well, true. So. But you haven't got overpowered games on phones, have you? You've got reasonably powerful games. I mean, mm. if they've got like a Tegra chip inside the phone. And that. But then again, there's, they've not really developed a, a gaming a phone for gamers, really, have they? They did. did I've they? got one, actually. Not, um, not the the Sony Xperia Play. Oh, okay. You, have you not heard of that? No. It's literally... It's a phone that looks like a PSP. Oh, we flip is, it. This is years ago now. I mean, I'm was it years ago? Let's wait, 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 wait. Oh, there we go. 2010, around that sort oh, of time. Oh, okay, well, seven years ago now. So we're getting old, aren't we? It's a long time ago. Yeah. Well, um, this video was made in 2017. If you didn't work that out, but uh, yes, yes. So, why do you think they should make something like that again, then? Because uh, I think the hardcore audience would like decent games, really. I think, I mean, uh, an NVIDIA Shield and stuff like that, that's like a handheld game system, but most of it is actually streaming from PCs, so it's a bit cheating. So. Have you played um, the Shield? No. No, no it's like 400 no. quid, I'm not playing yeah. that much for, yeah. a game, for bloody streaming. I'd be interested to see how well it works, top. sort of thing. Like, what it can actually run. Well, I think they're bringing out a second Shield soon as well, like Super Shield or something. Speaking of handhelds again, have you played with a newer model of JXD? There's a newer model. Yeah, uh, I've seen it existence because they wrote to me if I wanted to review it and then they stopped talking to me. Any idea if the buttons are nicer? Because I felt that no, was only weak. No. They're not. Oh. Well, I had a, my bloody uh, analog stick was broken on mine. It was all spinny. I don't oh. know if you had that. Do you have a spinny? Oh, I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah, because I, was... I play a lot of 2D games on it. Oh, anyway, okay. So I don't tend to. You don't use an analog stick? Oh no, oh, D pads okay. all the way. From oh, there. okay. So, yeah, no, it's, no, it's, it's I liked it. It's, but, uh, yes. So, what do you think of this? Do you think this would be an additional a collector's item? I mean, it's a, it's a unique piece of history. I don't know who owned it, unfortunately. Uh, I do have a, I do try and find out, but the bloke I bought it off. It, it is unique. That's, that's the thing with a lot of these old collector's pieces. Is um, It's a talking piece more than. Yeah, uh, collectors, as, you, as you're aware, tend to go for. Well, not all of them, but you've, the rare games, yeah. um, which we, we, we've talked about a lot. But with the development kits, I think, like you've said the, before, the prices are kept relatively low mm. in comparison to their rarity because not many people even know they exist yeah, in the first place. Exactly, yeah, that's like the cool. perfect example, as, um, as what's already happened, we've discussed it, for Microvision, you talked yeah. about it on YouTube. Yes, and it went up. It, the price went up, and so I can't buy one now. Everybody bought one, yeah. So maybe, well, it's on my channel, so no one's going to watch it, but if it was on a good channel, then the price of this would go up. Oh, there you go. So would you buy one of these? Would you ever buy a system? Because you buy consoles and that. Would you ever buy a development system console things? <sighs> Maybe, but not at this moment in time because there's still so many systems I plan to buy. Like we've already established, I want a Vectrix and I want a Microvision, and there's a yeah, lot more I've not got yet, which I'd like. Toy like shop now, isn't it? So. Jaguars yeah. and yeah, there's all sorts. I haven't even got a BBC Micro actually. So yeah, mm. no, I haven't got one. Have you not? No. Yeah. I've even got an Acorn Electron. Huh. What about, what about a Newbury Newbrain? No, no. 
Is it oh. a Gun Grundy new breed? <laughs> new breed. Oh, I don't know. I never bought one anyhow. No, I just I had an Amstrad, so I was happy with that. So no Bundy's Grundy. No. Oh, that's a shame. Anyway, thank you for watching us, ladies and gentlemen. Cheerio. Bye bye. <laughs>